Hey guys, this is Rank the Storm, and welcome back for more Let's Play Lost Kingdoms. In the last part, you saw me play bur the Burial Grounds really horribly. <laughs> and getting my 4 star rating, yeah. Uh, in this part, we'll be going on to Shale Passage, one of my favorite levels in the game. Well, sort of, more or less. Um, once again, I'm going to show off my deck first, so <clears throat> listen up. Uh, one fairy, two flying rays, one sea monk, one crystal rose, one dragon knight, uh, five lizard men, two sand beetles, three venus spiders, two mandragoras, uh, two man traps, three cockatrice, one banshee, three lycanthropes, and three ghouls. Any questions? No? Good. Uh, anyway, I will be going on into the shield passage now. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded. All right, let's see how I can do this. <clears throat> This ancient sewer runs directly to the castle grail. It is the quickest path to the castle, but the shadows hide strange monsters. And here we are in the level. Well, as you can see, if you try to walk through the water, you move really slowly. So uh, let's get this red fairy that they're giving to you right out of the gate. So that's our first red fairy in the level. We're doing pretty good so far, right? Alright, so this is going to be my first uh, recording session since AX, but, uh, yeah, I know AX was a long time ago, but, uh, you know, not that long ago, but pretty long ago, and this is my first time recording after it? Yeah, right. Anyway, here's the second Red Fairy, and see this thing? It's like a test tube, huh? or like a jar of pickles or something. Anyway, examine these as you see them. Let's break the chick- what? Let's break the pickle jar and you'll run into this thing. This is a flare spawn. Flare spawn is a fire enemy. Very weak though. I mean, if it hits you, it'll kind of hurt, but... Uh... Not that much, actually. Anyway, let's see if I can find myself a lizard man for my deck. Come on. Lizard man. Lizard man, I put five of you in my freaking deck. Where are you? Where are you? Hello, lizard man. Thank you. What's it doing? Uh, anyway, Lizard Man, two hits, goodbye. Flare Spawn is not that deadly of an enemy, but you're going to be running into a whole lot of these, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And now let's keep on going this way, and we ran into yet another Red Fairy. A lot of the Red Fairies in this game are really just clumped together, so, yep. Uh, let's go over here. See that switch? We can ignore that for now. Anyway, you're gonna want to keep going this way. This level can actually get a bit confusing unlike the other ones. Well, the other ones can be confusing too, but this one's real more confusing than the previous ones. So let's break over the next pickle jar and run into another flare spawn, and over there we run into a new enemy. That's a Dragonoid. Uh, hold on. Let me take care of the flare spawn real quick. Does that, how will it? Okay, never mind. Okay, Cockatrice works. Anyway, that is a Dragonoid. A Dragonoid is an Earth Attribute creature, and it's a weapons card if you get it. But it's actually a really, really good weapons card if you get it. Let's throw the Sand Beetle at it. Uh, Dragonoid is one of my personal favorite weapons cards in the game to use throughout the game, and uh, how many times have played a game? I'm surprised I haven't lost yet. Oh wait, by saying that, I did. Anyway, Dragonoid. Yeah, you'll be running into those a lot. Their whips will explode on you, but they're not that big a threat. And up, up up here, we find another red fairy. That makes four already. Jeez, man, seriously? I believe under one of these, like, crates was a card, but I can't exactly remember crates. Barrel. Um, let me see if I can... Never mind. I'm pretty sure one of these actually had a card under it, so... This enemy will help me find out, and that's a water hopper. Uh... Mandragora. Do your thing, please. And I was right. There's a card right over here under this barrel. So let's pick it up, shall we? Surprisingly, we find a stray card before we find a treasure chest. And we find a drank crab. It, the floor gave us crabs. Um, anyway, uh, keep going this way. Uh, giant crab is a summons creature. It's okay. Gives us more options to use with water. We're finally getting water cards in this game. Seriously. How long did it take us? Do break this pickle jar? That's my official name for them now, Pickle Jar. 
And we run into a flare spawn and a water hopper, so let's see if I can cockatrice these to death too. Well, yes I can, except I mi pretty much missed the flare spawn. Uh, cool. Not very effective, but deadly enough. But it paralyzed me, son of a fish. Uh, okay, anyway, take care of that and then keep going this way. Uh, and we find treasure chests. The first one's in the... Uh, just a dragonoid and a water hopper. I'll re be right back. Anyway, now that the treasure chest not without interruptions, we find a skeleton. No use for you anymore. I have sand beetles now. Over here, we find sea monk. Okay, not that you need more than one, really. Skeleton. Anyway, keep going this way. You can go down there, but don't do that. Not yet, anyway. Anyway, go over here, here and you'll find another pickle jar. Let's break this open. Oh, come on, give me the A welcome. Give me the A command. Thank you. And we ran into another enemy. This is the giant crab. And you know what? As much as I want to save it, I'm going to use a Venus spider. Goodbye. Anyway, the giant crab is very slow, but, uh... It's attacks can get really annoying because it can poison you. Anyway, let's throw a sand beetle at this and see how well it takes care of it, shall we? <laughs> One hit, nice. Anyway. That's another pickle jar in the bag. Basically, if you just keep destroying the pickle jars as you go, you won't have any problem destroying all of them. Anyway, two more treasure chests over this way. We find a... Ghoul, nice. Very nice indeed. And a mummy. Nope, don't want it that much. But oh well. Ugh. What the hell? I didn't know these guys came out stray. Whatever. Cockatrice! Uh, and go for game. So apparently the mini bosses of this level, the stupid flare spawn thingies, don't necessarily have to come out and those pickle jar fights. Can I break any of these open? I think I couldn't. I actually kind of remember not being able to break these open because you don't rank enemies here. Okay, so over here we find a deck point, so I'll be right back. And we're back. And I basically went through my deck and put everything in I got in this level except for the uh, thingy, the sea monk. So I did put the skeletons in here, even though I did say they were kind of useless now. But hey, uh, anyway, over here we find a red fairy. So that is five out of six in this level. And over here... We will find a pickle jar. So let's break this pickle jar open too, shall we? Uh, but here's the thing with this fight. There are three enemies, water hopper, dragonoid, and the pickle. Or rather the, you know, the flare spawn. But anyway, before you go fight them, oh, paralyzed really? You want to break this open or let the enemies break it open for you or something. But. Come on, come on. Break this. Thank you. Break it open. There's a treasure chest inside. So, now that I've taken care of that, you guys are of no use to me anymore. You will die. Should I cut the rest of this fight? Nah, I'll show it. Or if I decide to cut later, I will cut later. So, if I cut, then I cut. If I didn't, if I didn't. Uh, let's... Actually, I won't cut. I use a giant crab. I'm gonna give you crabs, man. Whatever that means, anyone. Ah. Very nice to have more water options than just the Dragon Knight, isn't it? Anyway, let's pay this chair just a visit, shall we? And apparently that was the last pickle jar, and... That's... The end of the level over there. Well, not really the end of the level. Let's open this. 
Find us a running bird. Uh, running bird is an independent creature that doesn't fight. All it does is make everything you have on your team go twice as fast. Um, I don't know if it's twice, but you know what I mean. It goes faster. Ugh, enemy. Anyway, enemy defeated. Let's keep going. To find three more treasure chests and another deck point. So, let's open up these treasure chests. Venus Spider. Very nice. And, uh, Skeleton. And a Lizard Man. All these, well, except maybe the Skeleton, are going to be useful in this next fight. Because the boss is coming right up. So, I will go to this deck point. And by the way, that Venus Spider that you just got, put it in your deck at all costs, alright? I will be right back. And we're back. I went ahead and put it in everything except the Running Bird and the Sea Monk. Now, over this way is the boss. Now, okay, if you have the Venus Spider in your opening hand like I do, open up with it right away. I know I didn't even say what the boss is, but look at that. Almost wiped out half its HP with that one hit. Anyway, this is a Mind Flare. Mind Flare is the boss's level. It's a water creature and it can paralyze you and get really annoying. So you want to take care of it quickly. So let's Venus Spider again. Anyway, opening up with the Venus Spider wipes out more than half its HP at the beginning. Almost half its HP at the beginning of the fight. And it can take out these flare spawns like they're nothing. So bring as many Venus Spiders to this level as possible. Because it helps with this boss so much. Anyway, let's see. Make it miss and getting close to Lizard Man for game. I think this is one of the first bosses except the giant bees that we didn't kill with the Dragon Knight. No, wait, I think I killed... I don't think I killed the, the uh, Sand Beetle with the Dragon Knight. But anyway... Defeated the Mind Flare. But unlike all the other levels, that's not the end of the level. So, beating the boss doesn't mean the end of the level. We instead find a key. You got the key! Where's the Zelda now? Um, anyway... Now that you've got the key, you're going to want to head, head back this way. I'm going to use the deck point to heal, but... Anyway, you're going to want to keep going this way. Anyway, now you're going to want to head down here. Then, see the switch? Press it. By doing that, you open that gate over there for a short amount of time. So once you do, run for it. Get in there at all costs. Oh, well, it stays open for a good amount of time, so... You're not going to have to, you know, lag for so long, but, eh, you might want to speak through it anyway. Uh, so, over this way. As you can see, this is the start of the level. And you're going to want to keep going this way. Come on, come on, come on. You can make it, Katya. You can make it. There's plenty of time. There's plenty of time. So, once you get that, uh, what? Yeah. Then keep going up here. And you have a treasure chest, so open it up. And you find a Dragonoid. Very nice. Very useful weapons card indeed. Anyway, you're going to want to keep going this way and into this gate. Even if this closes, there's a switchy thingy over here so you can open up again. Uh, open up the treasure chest. You will find a Carbuncle. Huh. And, um... Why did I think coming in here was worth it? <laughs> Maelstrom. I'm not going to use the Maelstrom. Keep going this way. And wait, 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 wait. I missed something. Whoa, Basilisk. Uh, apparently you can rent Basilisk here. Basilisk is a water variation of the Lizard Man. Very useful. If you can capture it, do so. Which I'm going to try to do. I didn't even know it came out here. Oh, uh, I won't die from one Lizard Man hit. Yeah. Ow. Is the only one of the Lizard Man family in this game that only has two shots on it. So it's like the Dragon Knight, except it can petrify. I, don't, I believe it wasn't as powerful. But, yeah, okay. Will the Cockatrice kill it? I can try. Okay, it didn't. Ugh, no, 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 no. And did I mention no? Uh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just gonna. No, that's a bad idea, actually. Skeleton? Just go ahead and skeleton. I don't need to do more damage than that. Uh, I don't have any fire creatures that can like wither it down for like no damage. 
Um, wait, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Uh, let's discard the cockatrice. Capture with the lizard bird? No, wait, no, no. I think I got this. I got this. No, with, without dying, without dying, without dying, without dying, please. Come on, I think I have this. If the skeleton can do enough damage, I can catch it. Yeah! Yeah! There you have it. Basilisk. Weapons type creature. Powered up lizard man. That's water. Anyway, I missed something. So I'm going to go back a bit. Because didn't I say there's one more red fairy in this level? I almost forgot to grab it on the way out. Anyway, right around here. See this boulder? See something red in there? Yep, red fairies. So here's the last red fairy in the level. And... Yeah! Now that you've done that, you can head over this way. And open this door. Now that's the end of the level. Oh wow, five star rating off of that. Really now. Let's see what I get, shall we? One, two, three. Come on, luck. I'm, I'm thankful for the Dragonoid, but I missed the boss card. Oh well. If you miss this boss card, don't sweat it too much. You'll get it soon. Anyway, Dragonoid and two giant crabs. Anyway, with that, you unlock the Castle Grail, the next level. And trust me, the Castle Grail... The level itself is no pushover, actually. Altogether, the level is actually kind of difficult to a certain extent. So anyway, now that we've done that, next time on Lost Kingdoms, the Castle Grail. I will see you guys then. It's card bio time. Alright, we're starting here with the Running Bird. The Running Bird is an independent creature that does not fight. It's an Earth attribute, but like I said, does not fight. All it does is raise the speed of you and your independence. So if you want to go fast... I guess it's useful. I don't use it, but eh, if you find it useful for it, then feel free. If you want to go fast. Going fast makes me feel alive. My heart beats in hopper. Uh, next card here is the Giant Crab. Uh, giant Crab is a summons. Even though its attack power is only 8, it hits multiple times of 8, so it's actually not bad. It can actually, I believe this card can poison as well. So it's actually not that bad a card. I might be using this in later levels. In fact, I might be using it in the next one. Uh, it's not a bad card. Wouldn't be using it later in the game, but for now, pretty good. Next card here is the Basilisk. Basilisk is a water variation of the Lizard Man. Just more powerful and the power to petrify. Only two times used like the Dragon Knight. Not as powerful in attack power, but it is a pretty darn good card. So I'm glad I picked this up out of pure luck. Next card here is the Dragonoid. Dragonoid is a Earth Attribute Weapons card. It flicks its whip and causes a little explosion. Three times use and it's pretty darn powerful for that because it says 18 but it hits about twice so pretty useful. I use this thing even in like the later levels of the game so I think this is my substitute for the Lizard Man later in the game now that you think about it. Now that I think about it. 